Yes, so I'm going to start off with a confession. Um, I know, this, uh, you know the title of my talk is Assumptions are Killing My Deployments. Uh, I'm not going to mention deployments a single time. It has killed my deployments in the past, the thing that I'm going to talk about. Too. And well, that's assumptions, and they frustrate me quite a lot. So now that you're forced to listen to me for the five, no, next five minutes, I'm actually going to complain. And the people that have worked with me know that I tend to complain a lot. So five minutes is quite a short time to complain, but whatever. How many of you have assumptions that you dislike, right? Cool, cool. quite a few. Um, this guy, by the way, I have no idea who he is. A colleague of mine was like, oh, so you're going to uh, quote this guy, Reacher, a lot. It's a new TV series. I don't know. I don't. I'm sorry. Uh, I included it for the people that would be disappointed. So the filearchy system, everybody knows this, everybody loves it. I absolutely hate it because it doesn't tell me anything. It is kind of vague and well where things can be, where it can't be. Um, you know, some distros are even like, let's put the same thing in 16,000 different places because why not? Um, it's not enforcing anything. It's just guidelines, right? And well, the purpose is it states it in the and it's the official documentation as well. It's there to predict things. I've never been able to predict the thing, like the location of things, except for Bash. It's the only thing I've been able to find through the FSH. And even then, still, like it's in four different locations. Why? And I've seen it not even be Bash. I've seen it being like symlinks to SH. I've seen it being like you know just SH as well. It's an assumption everybody makes. Everybody assumes that you can find things in slash bin slash bash. But it's not always true. It's the same with just programming in general. I come from a C background, and well, DL open is a very popular function to call. But you're assuming that, well, lib MSO is in the same place that the, and, and, and you know, it's capable of finding it. It's not always the case. Another assumption, that documentation of installing software is good. With open source, my experience has been, well, there's this friendly NPC that guides you along the way. It kind of tells you what you have to install first. It doesn't make any assumptions. And well, at the end of the day, you get properly installed software, which is cool. Proprietary software is more like a wizard to me, right? And they're literally called wizards. It's just like, press next 15 times, and we'll see what ends up on your system. No idea if it's going to work or not. And if it works, it's failed successfully. Like, OK, cool. So yeah. And there are technological you know, solutions to this. I mean, LXC, Docker, they get away you know, way there by shipping your entire machine. So the assumption there is, well, you have to have LXC enabled systems, or you have to have Docker installed. And those come with its whole other range of things. Well, for the people that know me, of course, Nix does the same thing. And Nix has one singular assumption. That is, well, have Nix installed. Have it installed in your system, and we can guarantee a lot of things that we normally couldn't. It does this by the underlying mechanism is wildly different. But the biggest assumption of all, and this really grinds my gears, and I've seen this you know, been popping up more and more in recent years. And it, it's a nice invention, I'm, I'm, I'm going to admit. And it was a cool invention back in the days, but it's getting quite annoying now. It's the internet. Like, why does every single tool these days assume that I have an internet connection? Um, I recently went to Miami on, for an offsite for the first time, and this was my first like, you know, continental flight. Um, I had no internet on that flight for a long time, and that's where I discovered that like, a lot of things just request internet access and then fail if they don't have it, whilst they could perfectly well work without internet. But the solution is way simpler than technological things. It's way, way simpler. And some people that know me might even say, like, oh, you're sick, Brian, are you okay? Yes, I haven't slept a lot, but I'm okay, trust me. Um, I'm not going to say that Nix is the end all be all solution. I think it gets us away there. But the solution really is simpler. I completely agree with uh, um, Terry that was just speaking before me. Um, just talk to each other, right? Um, document your shit. Uh, and yeah, documentation is going to go out of date the moment that you press enter. But that's not the main function of documentation, in, in my opinion. For me, as a you know, <laughs> growing junior still, um, documentation is more of a, an entry point, right? Like, what's in, in our infrastructure? How does it work? What assumptions are we making about our infrastructure? And where can I find more information? It's a gateway. Talk to each other, share knowledge. I mean, documentation goes out of date. If, if you think the documentation is out of date and you don't know how something works, just ask your peers, right? Don't be afraid to ask things. Um, I've worked for Inuits, I've worked for Tweak, at Flux now as well. We, you know, all of the places I've kind of seen this structure. And it's a really good structure. It works quite amazingly well. Um, but you have to just write it down. If you do something and you are assuming something, just write it down. 
And yes, every company has this one CI job that is just constantly read because nobody understands how it worked because it was written by somebody 10 years ago that left the company like the year after. And it's still there. Nobody dares to remove it. And it'll always be there unless we start, well, documenting our assumptions. Also, I just don't like to admit that I don't know a lot of stuff. So if you think that I said something wrong or you just completely disagree with me, come talk to me. I'd love to have the discussion. I'd like to learn. I'd like to talk with all of you guys.